Okay, this is the Lesson 5 exit ticket, um, and the directions say for the following problems. Draw a picture using the rectangular fraction model and write the answer. Simplify your answer if possible. And so now instead of adding um, unlike fractions, we are going to subtract them. So A is 1 half minus 1 7. So the first thing we need to do is draw our rectangular fraction model. So 1 half can be represented by drawing the, the square, or the rectangle, sorry, cutting it in half, and then shading 1 half of it. I'm going to label that with 1 half. And then I'm going to draw the 1 um, seventh fraction model by drawing a rectangle and cutting it into seven equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they aren't that equal, but it's pretty close. So I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to color in one of these. One seventh. And I know Mrs. Hendricks is laughing at my drawings right now, and I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> so now what we do is we take the area models and we portion them again. So the one half we need to now portion into sevenths. So I'm going to divide this into seven equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And so now instead of two um, boxes, we have 14 boxes. And instead of one being shaded, there are seven shaded. Again, I'm going to take the 1 7th model and I'm going to portion it into half. So I'm going to cut it in half. And so instead of there being 7 boxes, there is 14. And instead of 1 being shaded, there are 2 shaded. Okay? And I'm still subtracting. So just like addition, when we have like fractions, we can subtract across the top. So 7 minus 2 is 5. The denominator of 14 stays. And 5 over 14 is simplified as far as it can go, so that's just our answer. Um, now let's do B. So 3 fifths minus 1 half. Again, I'm going to draw a model for 3 fifths. So I'm going to take a rectangular model and I'm going to cut it into 5 equal parts. So 1, 2, three, four, five, and I'm going to shade in three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to draw a model for one half. I'm going to cut it in half and shade one and then give it a label. And actually I'm going to redo that because I want to draw my lines in a different direction. So I'm going to cut it in half this way and shade it like that. All right, now we need to portion them again using the other fractions denominator. So these, this model of 3 fifths needs to be portioned in half. So now instead of 5, there is a denominator of 10, and there are 6 boxes shaded. So 3 fifths is equivalent to 6 tenths. 1 half, we need to portion into fifths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, our denominator is 10, and there are now five um, boxes shaded. So one half is equivalent to five tenths. So we have six tenths minus five tenths. Six minus five is one, and the denominator of 10 stays. So our answer is one tenth, and one tenth is simplified as far as it can go. So we are done.